If you found some cute images in color that you want to use for a coloring book, I'm going to show you how you can quickly and easily remove the color in Canva and use those for your coloring book. So for both of these methods that I'm going to show you, you'll need to have images that have a black outline around them with color in the center. If it doesn't have the black outline, you can't really make it into a coloring image because it needs to have the outline to be colored in. You can either find images on Canva to do this with or you can download them from a site like Creative Fabrica. So I'm just going to go into Canva and open a US letter document, but you make it whatever size, of course, you want your coloring page to be. So I'm going to go to elements and I'm going to type in whatever, anything. Let's do summer and then go to graphics. So I just want to look here. So like this one doesn't have an outline. So those wouldn't be ones that I could use for this. Let's try this one. So here's the first way we can do this. So this image you can see up here has all the different colors that it is. So what I want to do is just leave the black one black and the rest of them. I'm just going to go in and change to white. And there I have a coloring image. So not all of the images that are outlined like this have that option though. So let's find a different one that doesn't have that ability to color, um, change the colors. So let's do dog. So I'm going to choose this dog right here and I'm, there are no colors up here to control this. So I'm just going to go to edit image. Then I'm going to go to duotone. I'm going to go to classic and apply and then I'm going to go to photogenic and I'm going to go to classic again so mono and then classic and then just click apply on that one and then we're going to go down here where we can adjust the brightness and the contrast and stuff so I'm just going to start playing around with this So turn up the contrast, turn up the brightness. Now I'm going to turn the brightness down some so that I can still have those nice lines, but I don't want the colors on the dog to show up. And then you can turn up the saturation as well, and that'll make it darker colored lines if you need them to be darker colored. This makes it so easy to create your own unique coloring images instead of having to use the same ones that are all the black and white ones that everyone else is using. So this gives you some more options to be able to make something unique, a unique coloring book or coloring pages. If you want to see some other easy ways to make coloring books, be sure to watch this video here where I show you some tips and tricks in Canva to make your own coloring books. Thanks so much. Have an awesome day. I'll see you next time.